Oh, no, no, no. Different intro. Different intro. Sorry, is that too loud? This might be too loud. I'm going to turn it down. Turn it down. Using the old lapel mic because it worked so good last stream. It's so good for a vape fiddle. But yo, yo, fiddlers. Hey, Steve. What's up, Metal Morrissey? Patrick Conquest Pants. Here's the thing. The stream, the Monday stream, did not post on the Patreon Instagram. And I think there was some ghosts in the machine. I think there was some ghosts in the machine. Sorry. Is it too loud? Is it still too loud? Let me turn it down even further. How about this? Is this better? Is that better? Is that better? Is that better? Is that better? Steve, I don't want to rest in peace any headphone users. Well, here we are again to do some VAP fiddles. I'm here to fiddle. This is the stream where I just fiddle with vape stuff. It's just, it's just vape stuff I want to fiddle with. Uh, there's no, there's some recreational stuff. This is, technically this is supposed to be all recreational stuff. You know, this is the stream where I want to just fiddle with the things that I want to fiddle with, you know? And I want to set things up and take things and rewick things and it's whatever. This is where I want to, I, I do stuff I want to do, you know? And today I want to set up this because I took the P22 ring and I put it on the broken RDA and I put it on this red empire and I was like, all right, that looks sick. That looks sick. <laughs> that looks sick. The broken with the, I'm into it. So we might fiddle this, but we are definitely gonna have some K-Fun redemption. We're definitely gonna have some K-Fun redemption. Here's the thing. I got called clueless, I got called useless. All because 22 gauge is apparently uh, a hell-worthy trespass. I mean, look, we've got some K-Funds out here. So we're going to take another stab at the old K-Fun Boro. Uh, what did I do this? Let's uh, fix this immediately. Hello. Look at that. I have some 28 gauge... Naya Chrome, Naya Chrome, Naya Chrome, Naya Chrome. Everybody chant it. Naya Chrome. <laughs> Naya Chrome. Anyway, so listen, here's the thing. I'm fine with being wrong and I, and I can take criticism fine. I'd like to get some good flavor from this K-Fun. I'm not trying to get bad flavor from the K-Fun. I take no joy or pride or personal pride in not getting good flavor from this K-Fun. I am a self-professed K-Fun fanboy. I've reviewed every K-Fun. I might not have enjoyed every K-Fun as much as some others, but I think some K-Funs are like, perfect, perfect. Put a damn Boro alien there. I saw that, Tr Trevi Wood. I saw that. I saw, yeah. We'll see. Wire gauge doesn't make it any less unnecessarily fiddly. Yeah, it still feels five years old. I agree, Asphalt Cowboy. My other criticisms remain. My other criticisms remain. But if I can get better flavor from it, then, then that's a criticism that is a legitimate criticism. But I don't think, I don't, okay, hang on, hang on. Something else needs to happen real quick. I'm gonna set this here. I forgot to get out my stream deck. That's just a way that, Sometimes there's a dangle clack, okay? So just bear with me for 18 seconds while I get out my dinky little stream deck and it just makes everything so much easier. Okay. I'd like to get good flavor from this. And I have some other K-Funds. I have some other K-Funds. I have a K-Fun Lite and a K-Fun Lite Plus. I believe both of these were 2020. The K-Fun Lite Plus with the AeroCon Airflow has an alien in it. Has an alien in it. Not too much cotton, Metal Steve? Not too much cotton. Alien Coro all day long crackles. All right, Just Josh. Well, here's the thing. There's an alien in this. There's an alien in this. I wasn't necessarily gonna kick off with the K-Fun, but there's an alien in this. I can prove that that's an alien. See? Proved it. So, we might put this K-Fun 
into this chimney, boosh, just like that. And this has AeroCon airflow, I believe. Yep, because this is the one that doesn't. The KFUN light has no correct. Use micro aliens and the KFUN RBA flavor was good. I'd like to get good flavor. I, you know, I'd like to get good flavor because, I, you know, I liked using it in that Raga. That's what it's going to go in today. I liked using it in the Raga. <laughs> in the Raga. I liked it. It was good. This is just the KFUN light that has fixed airflow. Ooh, there's liquid in there. I just cleared it out. Fixed airflow with the screw that's different? That's a different airflow. Hang on. Hang on. I thought I got to the bottom of this, but evidently I didn't. It's all cross compatible, so I can use, I have a, a steam tuners tank that I can use. I don't know, V8, do we have any dangle clacks happening currently? Uh, there is no lo-fi chill beats and I apologize. That needs to take up the dead air. Okay. So it's uh, K-Fun Challenge, K-Fun Redemption Day here at the Fiddle. And I'm damn hell asking to build up that empire, 100%. I haven't, I haven't picked out anything for these uh, K-Funs to go on. Poon Sauce McNastiness. Does anybody in the chat use a K-Fun on the reg? <clears throat> I know I saw Asphalt Cowboy has the Boro. That ain't adjusting much in my life. Could be that that's too big, but I doubt it. I think the KFUN light had a fixed airflow. Or, no, this is an Ultem little uh, thingy. No, it should be adjustable. Mm. Oh, there it is. That's why it's terrible. Okay, well, let me tell you that the Aerocon Airflow is a huge upgrade from the KFUN Light. But we got a KFUN Light, and then we got a KFUN Light Plus with Aerocon Airflow with the steam tuners cap that I really, really like. I think this is a, a good looking mouth to lung RTA. And I'd like to get some good flavor from this too. So maybe in addition to the K-Fun Boro, I'll do some K-Funnage because this is something I've been wanting to do. The only thing I can't find is a K-Fun Light, my favorite K-Fun, which is a K-Fun Light Plus from, you know, 2013. But I can't find it. I don't know where it is. And if I could find it, I think the screws from it have been sent to V8DV. No, no. I did take the screws back. I did take the screws back. Never mind. I did take the screws back. You have a Toonie Fun Light Plus clone urn? Yeah, I have one. But I use those for restricted lung. Seamus, home from work sick. Oh, hang out, bro. Yo, yo. Gadefi, Metal Morrissey. Well, we're doing the K-Fun challenge today. It's the K-Fun flavor challenge. And maybe, if not the broken, okay, if not the broken, if not the broken, then maybe the P22. I'm leaning towards the broken because uh, I think I like the broken more than I like the P22. But the P22 looks undeniable, like that looks undeniably slick. Get out of here. P22 life, different drip tip for sure. I can't tell. K-Fun Light Plus. I don't know why that won't sit all the way down. I don't know. <laughs> What's up, Hayes? What's up, Hayes? How was your birthday? How was your birthday, Hayes? Oi, Kiwi. Oi, Slater. 
I think the broken with the beauty ring, that's, I think that's the way to go. I think that's the way to go. I think that's what I'm gonna do, yeah. Yeah, on YouTube, whoo, got called all sorts of, of names. I have a lot of, uh, I mean, I've been on the internet for, for, for a minute now. So, oh shoot, I forgot, uh, hang on. I gotta go grab my leaning tree mods real quick. Um, don't, I'm gonna show you this actually. We're gonna go back to this shot while I go grab it because I need something to build on. And I might put it in a clear monarchy tank or, or mother truck in pink, but that's only because it's gonna go in the Raga and I, and I only have dirty batteries for the Raga that are pink uh, in nature. Oh. But I, ha I mean, I have normal batteries, but all my exposed batteries suddenly turned into dirty batteries. Look, we can do a normal battery here. Look, we'll do an Ohm Depot. We'll do an Ohm Depot. That's fine. Or orange. We could go back to good old orange and match the Ohm Depot. That's an option too. Anyway, I'll be right back. I'll be interested to see if you can hear me the whole way there and back. Because I'm wearing a microphone. I don't know how long the range is on these. On these DJI microphones. Is D. Oh, I completely forgot what I went out there for. What did I have to go get? What the hell did I have to go get? What the hell did I have to go get? I went out there and just grabbed my blaze. Oh, yep. Yeah, this is this is this is exhibit A. This is exhibit A. Oh, the leaning tree. Yeah, it was sitting right there. It was sitting right there. The leaning tree. I looked right at it like 15 times. Like, why did I come out here? Oh, you're fully charged. This has been the most reliable, longest lasting LiPo in the history of LiPos. What's up, sewer rug? Does anyone ever deal? I used to deal with cold, cold door handles. Not, not anymore. Not in a long time. I apologize. I just got to move this camera up like this. I'm going to try not to make it look too much like a Batman villain. It's just inevitable, I think. So, really some, some Twisted Timmy's Aliens is what you're telling me. Some Twisted Timmy's Aliens. Because I had some 28 gauge Nichrome set aside. Because I, like, I like building on a DNA. Building on a DNA 200 with a lipo? This will fire anything. <laughs> and plus, look how sick this mod is. It's a leaning tree. This is vintage, man. This is this is so old school. Number six. This, this company was around for like 18 minutes. <laughs> Sewer rug. I drove a 1969 Volkswagen bus in Lake Tahoe, California, in the snow for years on end. <coughs> you know what that's like? Go get a DNA ohm reader. Why do I need a DNA ohm reader? Why do I need a DNA? I don't understand. I'm just, it's like I have a car in front of me and you're like, well, go buy a car. I'm like what? Uh, this, I still have yet to hear an argument about why I need an, a DNA ohm reader. Don't you want to try 28 gauge round wire? Don't you want to try it? Yo, yo, rebuildable. Timmy's boros are too low for mouth to lung metal, Steve. I, that's what I don't want. I want a higher resistance and I know that 28 gauge can get me there. And everyone on YouTube swears up and down that higher gauge wire will have better flavor. And that's what I'm after. I want better flavor. Yeah. 
I kind of the same inspect metal Steve I I've put twisted Timmy's boro aliens inside of like single coil I'm pretty sure that's what's in the broken right now if we were to look in here I'm pretty sure that's like a twisted Timmy's yeah mouth to lung boro alien that I use for restricted lung in a dripper Twenty eight gauge. Twenty eight gauge. Twenty eight gauge. I'm just deciding. I'm just deciding. You think I should make my own fuse Clapton strip theory? Uh alright. Well listen, we're not quite there yet. And I, I not it's not that I don't think I could, it's that I'm just not ready for it. I'm just not, I don't have uh, any buildy stuff set up. You know? But hell. Hell! Hell, next week, next week, challenge accepted. Challenge accepted, drip theory. You want to come on the stream? Coach me? <laughs> Can't get a hold of Kent anymore. He's, he's, he only communicates, he only communes with artificial intelligences now. Two and a half millimeter also, is ever what everybody's telling me? I think that's what I did before. Yeah, two and a half millimeter. These are going to be some like 28 gauge is insane. It's insane. I, I mean, honestly, I'm so out of practice. I don't even know if I could build this with 28 gauge wire. When people called me clueless or useless on YouTube, I was like, shit, I could be. I might not even know what I'm doing right now. Let's see. Oh, yep. See, I am useless. I built I, the stovetop started happening. Yeah, 28 gauge on a coily tool is tough. And I can't even wrap it old school anymore. That's how out of practice I am. Oh, that's actually not a bad looking coil. Yes, it is. Nope. I can't show this on camera. What are you, crazy? Sorry. Sorry, I wasn't meaning to blind everybody. Can't show that on camera. So we're going to start over. 28 gauge is like hair right now. Hair. I thought we I thought these days were behind me. But I have to do a 28 gauge 2.5 milliliter round wire build. And we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Twenty six gauge. I have some twenty six gauge, but like people, some people on YouTube kind of even scoffed at the idea. Like twenty six gauge, twenty four gauge. They were like, "Oh, here's the thing. I have twenty eight. I have, I have twenty six. Let's try twenty six. Uh, twenty six. I'm down. I feel like that 28 gauge, that's insane. That needs there needs to be two of those, you know, in the middle as a core. Ah! My coil turd wire. Holder downer guy. Sticker. Busted. Next week I'm gonna build some fused claptons. You can't stop me. You can't stop me, Drip Theory. I dare you to try to stop me. Honestly, you know, uh, it, Fuse Claptons are fine, but, I mean, for mouth to lung, yeah, Fuse Claptons, but Aliens are way more satisfying to build. St yeah, string a guitar with that? Just Josh, here's the thing. I, my This guitar sitting behind me has a string broken on it, and it's been broken for, like, literally, I don't know, nine months, maybe longer. And since I'm a bass player guy, I'm only used to changing four strings. I'm not used to changing out six strings every time. Okay. And away we go. 26 gauge. Oh yeah. Oh my god, that's so much better. I 
I, uh, six wraps, right? Oh man, that last one stove topped on me, but I think I can salvage it. Six wraps. That's how we're going. Yeah, I was a bass player guy. Every band I've ever been in, I played bass. Every band I've ever been in, I was I played bass and did vocals, in some capacity. In 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 my early days, it was you know a lot of metal and death metal, and so I I practiced my death metal stylings, my death metal stylings. But yeah, I was a bass guy, not by choice. Okay, I want to make that very clear. It was not by choice. We were forming a high school band, you know, and a bunch of bunch of dudes that were were like, we're forming a band, I guess. And it was a bunch of dudes, but nobody really played anything. That's not true. You know. Luke, the guitar player, he'd played guitar, so it's like, well, obviously Luke's going to play guitar. All right, Jim plays guitar, that's fine. I was like, oh, I'm going to play bass. Had never picked up a bass guitar in my life. And all I was thinking in my head was like, well, we can't have three fucking guitar players, and I don't want to get stuck, <laughs> you know, like not being in this band. So I'm pretty sure I could learn bass. And, you know, what's ironic is I realized that what I actually like most in metal is the bass. After becoming a bass player, I went back and it's like, I was listening to old bands like Overkill that I used to love. It's like, there's a few albums of Overkill that I love purely because of the bass tone. One of my favorite albums of all time, America Must Be Destroyed by Guar. I love that album because of the bass tone because of Beefcake the Mighty's playing, you know? And so, you know, I immediately became a bass guy and I, and I love and appreciate bass players and, you know. Uh, it was what we would call Christian death metal, you know? Although in retrospect, uh, some of it could have been considered like Christian new metal at certain points. It, it was, for a while, uh, a deathy, really heavy deathy band. But, you know, sometimes local human drummers can't replicate that, so you kind of be, become a new metal band. It's like, it's the reason why I think Metallica released Load. It's because Lars was like, you guys, I'm getting tired. Can we do some, like, more Rocky type stuff, please? And the fans were like, no! All right, I'm gonna cut these leads. I feel confident about this install. It's a good looking 26 gauge coil. I haven't checked the resistance yet, but that's because I haven't clipped it yet. You know. Yeah, well, I love heavy guitar. I love heavy guitar, but I love heavy bass. Like seriously, go listen to America Must Be Destroyed and like the bass tone is just fucking awesome. It's just monstrous. It sounds like a beast. And what I used to love to do when I recorded bass tracks, at least we did this, uh, oh no, we didn't do this in Swamp Donkey, was I had, a, uh, I would set up two different cabinets in two different rooms, and one of them was mic'd, and it was a clean, and the other one was mic'd and it was distorted and you could like adjust them together and make fucking rad tones. And so I like the bass tone a lot on the uplifted stuff we recorded because it was purely inspired by like Guar and Overkill from back in the day. And Justice for All. <laughs> yeah. And Justice for All has no bass tone and that's a bummer. Still a great metallic album. Okay, well, here's where we're at. This is what I've installed. Love it or hate it, I'm trying to, I'm gonna vape it. Haven't glowed it yet, don't know the resistance, but it's a two and a half millimeter, 26 gauge. And I don't feel like raising that coil up anymore. 
Just don't. Yeah, 60 watt guy. Doing 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 some K-Fun redemption. Alright, we're gonna turn this way down. Uh, it's reading a 0.66 right now. 0.66 right now. Yeah, don't raise it. I will not. Yeah, dude. Hayes, I agree. That's unbelievable. Anesthesia pulling teeth. That's amazing. That song, Orion. You know, I wish I could say that those were the things that made me want to become a bass player, but those are the things that I didn't love until I was a bass player. I'm going to make sure that these are just tightened down to the maximum capacity. And even when I did kind of want to be a guitar player, I never wanted to be a lead guitar player. I appreciate a good lead, but I always felt like that was, you know, well, it was just a little showing off a little bit, you know? <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm gonna, I feel like that's too high. I feel like it's too high. I pulled it up too much. It's because there was a little bit of slack in one of the weeds and I couldn't center it. And I think I'm just gonna unscrew this one real quick and reposition this real quick. And it's because of the stove toppy lead. That's what happened. The stove toppy lead happened. Oh, you can't see anything. Mm, still can't see anything. There you go. this way yes yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine we'll see how it shakes out uh, I know I'm gonna need my super uppy closey glasses being tired of sex made me want to be a bass player. <laughs> Here's the thing, Metal Morrissey. I appreciate good bass player jokes. In fact, my, you know, everybody refers to their ex-bandmates differently, you know. I'm, I'm my bass player to other people, and Jim happens to be my old guitar player. My old guitar player, Jim, still sends me bass memes on Instagram constantly. <laughs> and, I la and we laugh about them. It's just whatever. It's just harmless. I get it. I have a plenty of drummer jokes. I have plenty of drummer jokes. Solid rhythm player. Yeah. And plus a lot of the bands I was into, you know, as I was, I wasn't, they, they weren't so into solos. Like I was listening to a lot of like trendy hardcore and, you know, Atreyu and shit. I guess Atreyu did have solos. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. It was one of the things I, I thought it was too cool for solos. <sighs> okay, that glowed perfectly. Grim Green AMSR, ASMR whispers. ASMR whispers. You're in the fiddle zone. Get ready to be fiddled. 0.77. 0 0.77, 0 0.77, 0 0.77. I just got to trim these leads real quick. Get my Anthony Ramella goggles on. Because also, oh, uh, you know what? I guess on. Yeah, there's not much leeway there, is there? You inevitably got to do just the push it up, right? That's inevitably what you got to do. See if we can get this one closer. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. That was good. That was really good. That was really good. You think that's perfect, Metal Steve? It's glowing good. It's glowing good, and I think I got those. So I'm gonna, let me check the tolerance real quick on the cap. 
Uh, but I'll show you, let me show you this. Let me try to show you this. On the inside of this cap, and this is something I mentioned in my YouTube review. Hey, Breeze Tones. Uh, look, inside the threadings, you can see scratches from leads. Like when they're too long, I thread it down and you can get, you can see the scratches that the leads will make on the threads. On the threads. <laughs> Hungry hippo. What's up? Chillin'. No excuse for cotton waste. You built it before you should know the length you need. All right, well, we'll see. Point eight, right? Point eight, point eight, point eight, point eight. I guess it's a point eight. Are we good? Is it still glowing evenly? Perfect. Okay. Point eight, point eight, twenty six gauge. I think that was a six wrap. Technically, a six and a half wrap. All right, now my favorite part of the favorite part of the day. Time to waste some cotton. Uh, so for one K fun, like phrasing like this, probably, I think, perfect. I'm just gonna chop this up and make it useless. I'm gonna cut it. No, let's see. If if I really want to minimize my cotton wastage, probably gonna go like. this much. All right. I, I might have gone twice that before phrasing. I might have gone twice that before phrasing. <laughs> but you know, cross your fingers. Uh, I don't know why this oh, it's kind of a useless camera. I point sometimes I point it too far down. More cottons. Well, you know, look, I'm trying to check my cotton privilege. I've been I've been able to just waste cotton my whole career, you know? Same with wire. You can go back and watch my really old wire building videos, and I'm like, pull off three feet of wire, pull off about a foot of wire, and I and I pulled off like six feet of wire and I just clipped it and it was all wasted. <laughs> you know. All right, I feel good about this. What is that? What is that? There's something on my cotton. What are you? What are you? I don't know what this is. It's like a plastic, plastic shard. It looks like cotton that like got too hot and like melted together or something like rayon. Okay. This is this. I'm trying to keep the faith here, you know? You think that cotton's too tight? You think that cotton's too tight? Get out of here. That cotton's not too tight. You think it's too tight? Why do you think it's too tight? You're going to give me a complex. Uh. Svoy Mesto box. Yes. Look, I'm gonna pull it. <laughs> I don't think it's too tight. No, you're just, you're, you're messing with me. You're just messing with me right now. And so, Gonna be like that. Okay, so that's some cotton wastage. And then it's gonna be like that. And then that's some cotton wastage. That's that's all the cotton wastage right there. Right there. That's not bad. Earn, you should be proud of that. <laughs> Phrasing, same. You should be proud of that. Jeez. 
just too much length. That's an acceptable amount of cotton wastage, I think. That's some of the least cotton I've ever wasted. Okay, I'm gonna try to thumb this, but that usually doesn't work because... Oh, oh my. I was gonna say it usually doesn't work because I cut it too long, but I cut that just freaking fine. Oh my gosh, I wish I had wish. I wish I had that on a close-up because that was like a textbook thumbing. Like textbook thumbings. Hashtag textbook thumbings. Let's see if we can replicate these. What I, I am I thinning it? I've never thinned it. Why would I thin it? I don't need to thin it. Should I thin it? Did I thin it last time? I think I only gave it a slight thinning last time. I felt like that was never really a super necessary thing, but here's the thing. I'll still thin, I'll still, I'll still thin out one side slightly. You know. Thinning is another hoop. Yeah. You know, just to jump through. Pow. Okay. Consider it thinned. Well, I thinned one side. <laughs> this chat, this chat's my favorite chat. You guys are hilarious. Because you see, like, Tribal Buddha, you see Tribal Buddha, you see phrasing. Why don't you ever look at the chat? And then you look at the chat and it's like, You should thin it. You shouldn't thin it. <laughs> Why did you thin it? Why didn't you thin it? <laughs> it's like, it's because, like, all of this, all this stuff, thinning it out, resistance, cotton, raise your coil, lower your coil. Oh, I get better flavor when I move my coils out and up. I go, I get better flavor when I move them in and down. And, you know, it's all just passed along nonsense, anecdotal whateverness. <laughs> it's just tribal knowledge, you know? It's tribal knowledge. That's it. And then, I mean, obviously, that's part of the fun of it is making suggestions and, you know, Oh, well, when I do it like this, that helps. When I do it like this, that helps. But there's not like a... There's not like a... <laughs> there's not like a, a, like a science to this. Some, I mean, there is obviously a science to this. Where is my... I guess we're going with... Should I go with deep cuts? Do we go with deep cuts? What's that, Megs? Yeah, it is, Jason Vapes. It's severe. The vape group think is severe. The vape group think is severe. And ultimately, what this comes down to is whatever you like, then, then that's, what, that's, that's what you should like. That's it. That's it. That's the rule. If you like it, vape it. If you don't, then don't. My opinion is that there's, an, even if this does have better flavor, which I, it could, it probably will. My my bigger point was that you you tell it, you can't compete with a pod. You just can't. I mean, maybe, maybe for cost effectiveness alone, rebuilding would be a good way to go. And if you can get good enough flavor from a rebuildable for cost effectiveness alone, yeah, long term, absolutely, 100%. But that's not the argument being made. That's not the argument I'm making. All right. I'm not expecting greatness, but I'm hopefully expecting something better than you know the 22 gauge the awful 22 gauge 
even yeah round wire yeah well you know round wire is you know it, i don't know it's pretty consistent it's pretty consistently good hungry hippo okay well okay so this time it's gonna stay in the leaning tree so we'll get to force that out later that's fine <laughs> Okay, so what do we think for a tank? I might just do clear guy. I might do monarchy. I might put a K-Fun in a monarchy tank. Is that gonna make two worlds collide? Is it gonna be like dividing by zero? Is that gonna happen? Who cares? Let's go for it. Custard turtle doves? Custard turtle doves. Oh yeah, Seamus, yeah, that, you make a, that's a pretty good point. Coil heads versus building are kind of like the whole regulated versus mech. Once upon a time, rebuilding, hang on, hang on, it's, it's moving too fast. Once upon a time, rebuilding was how we get chowds and power. Now any coil hood on a regulated device will produce a good experience the way you like your vape. Yeah, 100%, I agree. 100%, I agree. The monarchy boros are great. I'm looking forward to it. I had some crypt tanks set up as well, but like, dude, the crypt tanks just been leaky. Just been leaky. Yeah, I like that, let's go. And my chimney should be around here. Not like excessively leaky. I don't wanna, want, don't want you to think it's, you know, Hi, that's why is that so difficult to get through that O-ring? Holy shit. Ooh. Okay, that's a snug O-ring. Cool. Just gotta be aware, man. I know. I know, I did, red light. And you know, it's because I didn't run into this issue. Oh man, I pushed the O-ring out. Oh man, I pushed the O-ring out. I didn't run into this issue until recently. Recently. <clears throat> I didn't run into this issue until uh, recently. They started leaking on me, you see. Uh, and it's a, and it's frustrating. And it's not even like a leak. It's like a slow weep. You see those that juice at the bottom? That that's the crypt tank in a nutshell. It's just a slow weep. It's not the mob's fault. It's just coming from the O rings. It's just a slow weepy thing, you know. Slow weepy things. It's okay. Still, my vapes. But then the flavor from that mob, two in there slaps. So you know I have to use aggressive tools. Get that off of there. And I just keep this whole big box around <laughs> Just keep that adapter. Genius. All right. Uh, this might be a hard time. That top does not like this K-Fun at all. In any capacity. Might need some lubrication, so I'll just put some lubrication on it. That's what she said. The slowly leaking mob. No, right now I'm not blaming the mob. I'm blaming the crypt tank because the same thing happened with my K-Fun in, the, in, the, in a crypt tank. The same thing happened with... Oh, good lord.
please God. Nope, it's gonna it's gonna get that O-ring every single time. How can I even show this to you? Let's watch. Do you see this happening? It's just gonna keep happening. I it's lubricated. I lubricated it with e-liquid. There's e-liquid all over this mug right now. All over. It is greasy with liquid. It is maggoty with liquid. Yeah, we need some boosh goo. We need some <laughs> We need some boosh goo to get this in here. And I can't come up from the top. Oh man, I'm going to have to use a crypt tank. Or it's just going back in an old reliable orange. Sorry. Sorry, Monarchy Pod. Monarchy Boro. You have to wait for a <laughs> chimney of less discriminating tolerances. That's just... that's that, sh that should have been a criticism of this bridge as well, is why is that so squared off? Who does that help? That helps nobody. That helps nobody. Spin and push? Well, you guys are really dedicated. You know, I, I like that you're dedicated, but there's just there's people that are not dedicated. I mean, this is the equivalent of like getting in your car and it's like, well, the brakes don't work. Oh no, uh, when you press on the when you press on the handle, you also have to honk the horn, otherwise the brakes don't work. All right, you can't just press it in. You gotta spin it and press it. And, and you grip it with what? Dreams? You grip it with what? Hope? <laughs> Spin and press. Spin and press. Spin and press. The old spin press. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Spin and press. Yeah, so what are you gripping this with, really? Hopes? Imagination? Because, I mean, unless you have, like, slender elven fingers, I don't see how you're gripping the tiniest, like, just for scale. How, how are you gripping this? I'm, I'm, I'm clueless. People call me clueless on YouTube. You're telling me you're spinning this... You're spinning this and pressing it in? Totally worth it. Totally worth it. <laughs> totally worth it. All right. Well, we tried. Uh, and uh, <laughs> while I'm frustrated, let me grab a pod. Give, give me give the most flavorful, effortless vape I've ever had. Hand free, flavorless, flavorful, effortless vape I've ever had. Goes right in the mums. Goes right in the mums like a championship tiger. Straight in. Svimesto. Phrasing. Well, well, you know, I put I put it out there. I said, I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna stream on Twitch and have some K Fun Redemption. Like, listen, here's the thing. I can take criticisms if, I, if I'm doing something wrong or if I use the wrong wire or if the coil's too high, coil's too low, things like that. Sure, I'll take criticisms, but I'm not sure how you, like people with a straight face can tell me that a K-Fun tastes as good as this Pure Max or as a Cali Burn. You can't. I don't think that that's an arguable point. You can argue that it's it's less cost, you know, it's more cost effective to do this. Absolutely, I agree. Uh, you can argue that, uh, you know, 
really, I don't, I don't know, I guess that's the only argument is that it's more cost effective. There's a lot of arguments you can make for a K fund and for a K fund borrow, but ease of use and qual, you know, insane flavor or not them. It might have good flavor, and if it has good flavor, then then I'll say that it has good flavor. But I don't think it's. I mean, I guess it's a really unpopular opinion to give any praise to a pod. So easy to, f this Mums tank is awesome. I don't know exactly who Mums is, but this tank is my favorite Boro that I've ever had. Everything always fits. The, the glass slides on perfectly. It looks cool. It's got this like texture to it and it's orange. You never been a K-Fun guy, T-Bolt? See, I've been a K-Fun guy. I mean, and like, <laughs> you can go back in my old K-Fun videos I'm, I love them and they have great flavor. And I thought the K-Fun that I bought in 2013, you know, my original K-Fun Lite Plus was just gonna be the last K-Fun I ever purchased. Like, nope, this is gonna be the last K-Fun I ever need. Yeah, Casey took my one good battery wrap, my one orange camo battery wrap. And I loved the ever loving, ever loving F out of it. And I kept a K-Fun going my entire vaping life. I've always had a K-Fun going, literally always. I travel with them, I take them to ECCs, I took them to vape shows. I always traveled with a K-Fun. I always liked having a solid, flavorful, mouth to lung banger. Always loved it. I was a self-professed K-Fun fanboy. Yeah, perfect. Nope. Damn it. I said it was the old coil and it did it as a point two two. <laughs> That's not correct. Yep, check the atomizer. Yep, new coil. Yeah, point seven six. All right, let's go. I'll even use a shorter drip tip. I'm pretty sure that the, you know, some flavor gets lost when you go like this, right? Pow. Can I use a little Oleg on there? Am I allowed to, or is that going to decimate my flavor too badly? Because you never know what can affect flavor. Give it a shot. 26 gauge, uh, 0 0.76, 25 watts. The K Fun Boro with 26 gauge, two and a half millimeter. Oh yeah, that's that's much better than 22 gauge, by a mile. Yeah, that's much better flavor. Damn, that is damn much better flavor. 25 watts is a little bit hot. Whoops. Uh, let's go for like 15 watts. Old school. That feels too old school. Yeah, let's try a shorter drip tip. I mean, the flavor is objectively better objectively better with higher gauge wire. I'm going to, we're going to put that K fun with the alien in it next. Maybe we'll split it up with a dripper, but I need a shorter 510 drip tip. That's the problem. That's the toughest part. Green. Sure. All my favorite drip tips are Oh, 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 that's too short. That's too short. That's green. I don't have anything orange. The orange aesthetic is difficult for me to achieve. Oh, oh, that'll do it. 
shit. Old school DHD for the win. DHD to the rescue. There it is. Finally. Perfect. Perfect. 15 watts. Listen, this flavor is a, a, a way, objectively way better than, than 22 gauge. 22 gauge wire. Objectively better. Yes. Tremendously better. Other criticisms remain, but that flavor is objectively much better than 20, 22 gauge. I don't think it's Pure Max quite. Better is flavor, better flavor is better. And I want to get better flavor from a K Fun. I mean, that is, that's, that's crazy. That's a crazy difference to me. And again, this is all subjective. A, a subjective tribal knowledge. I mean, I try to be objective about this, though. Mm-hmm. The crackle from Roundwire was such a satisfying thing. And I never could really tell what caused Roundwire crackle, you know? No, no, no. Phrasing, it's different. It's different coming from... It's phrasing. No, no, no. I don't... No, no, no. <laughs> no, your recent YouTube comments haven't pissed me off. Because you didn't call me clueless. You didn't call me clueless. This, this was a criticism on... Uh, granted, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do the Aries finale again. But that airflow is so bad. You should stick to pod systems. When it comes to rebuildables, you're pretty clueless. The problem here is user experience. Like, am I clueless? Am I clueless? I mean, granted, 22 gauge in the K-Fun was a bad call, and I should have caught that. And I've been, you know, <laughs> I should have caught that. You know, 100% I should have caught that. This flavor's better, but I don't know that I would say that it's as could possibly be as good as a pod. I think that I think that sentiment. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stand by that sentiment. I'm going to double down on that sentiment. And that's the thing. I've been called a lot more than clueless over the years. I've been called all 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 sorts of nonsense, all sorts of things. You know. So I do have a pretty thick skin about it. But for some reason, occasionally comments just cut through, and I'm like, that's tough. I'm like, well, all right. You know. Usually I can let them roll off, but when you're having a tough day and it's the beginning of a, of a tough week and you know it's kind of going to be a tough year and you're feeling a little bit bummed out already and then you read a you read an extra hurdy comment and then you go, well, oh, maybe I am, maybe I am clueless. Fuck me. Maybe I am. Who knows? I'm enough to, you know, maybe I can admit when I'm clueless. But listen, I can admit when I was wrong, this is objectively better flavor than 22 gauge. My other criticisms remain, and I don't think it's as good as a pod, but this is objectively better flavor, much better flavor. 40 gauge is really where it, <laughs> 40 gauge is really where it comes to life. Kobe, yeah, I had a feeling. You can't go higher than that? Just round wire. Could you imagine doing a round wire 40 gauge build? How insane that would be? That would be ridiculous. Well, I know, but I mean, it's whatever. The, the, there's good places of, of the internet and bad places of the internet. I get that. I get that. And like I said, I, I've got pretty, I've got pretty thick skin about it. You know. I don't, I don't generally care what, what, a, what, <laughs> what a Reddit user thinks of my round wire build, you know, or that at all. This is good flavor. Good. Much better, 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 good flavor. Enjoyable. That is objectively enjoyable flavor. You don't think it would keep its shape? What if you wrapped it 
what if you drip theory says it wouldn't keep its shape? What if you wrapped it around the cotton? Huh? That's what we have to used to do with silica. We used to wrap 28 gauge around the silica. What if you wrapped it around spaced around the cotton? Then uh, then installed it and you wouldn't need to glow it because you know it'd be spaced. You could just apply liquid. That could be a thing. Well, of course I want to impress Reddit users. Of course I do. Just not, you know, not in that way. Not on like a YouTube comment. I don't know. <laughs> I live to, imp <laughs> live to impress Reddit users. No matter what hurtful or ignorant comments you get, remember those people would give a left nut to be in the position you didn't have and have the impact on this community that you have, yeah. Well, listen, I, you know, I, I'm thankful every day, phrasing. I'm thankful every day. I don't want any, I don't want any, uh, you know, I don't want it to come across as that I'm ungrateful in any, in any capacity. There's not uh, anything else I'd rather be doing right now than this. And I realize, you know, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm very grateful and thankful for the position I'm in. 100%. And listen, in 2024, I'm trying I'm going to try trying to do more stuff. I'm trying to do more stuff. I've I've felt you know, like uh, I felt like I've been watching everything with vaping just play out in front of me um, without being like a truly active participant. I mean, I, I, I'm an active participant in a lot of senses, but I, I'm just telling you how I feel without really being an active participant. And so I felt like, all right, well, this is mother truck in 15 years of grim green. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm proud of what I've accomplished and what I've been able to do and the change that we have been able to make, you know, but I still feel as though it's not enough. And I wanna do something more and I wanna do something, you know, bigger. And so my my patrons and I, maybe this is a maybe this is a speech best served for the vlog, but my patrons and I were tossing around the idea of I really wanna do a documentary. Really, really wanna do a documentary. And I, but I don't think I'm gonna do a documentary. I don't think I'm gonna do a documentary. I don't think that's I don't know. I'm I'm I want to do too much and I don't have enough time or energy or money to do it all. But I would like to do a true vaping documentary and document everything that happened between essentially vaping landing in America around 2008 up to Juul and the youth vaping Evali epidemic. Like where this came from, who innovated it forward, the small businesses that sprung up and changed economies and then were affected by bad regulation, all of the misinformation and disinformation resistance from the very beginning, that still is a very much important thing to me. And I wanna do that. I'm leaving this coil in here. This is a beautiful coil. This is a beautiful coil. That's a Timmy and it's glowing perfectly, and I'm just gonna leave it in there because I love it on the broken. And I, th so what I think, and this isn't any, nothing is set in stone right now. I just want everybody to be well aware of that. Shit. This, uh, <laughs> this beauty ring might be a bad idea. But that's still something that is important to me that I would like to do. Ah, it would be short. Hour, hour, hour and some change. Hour, hour and some change. Hour and 15 minutes, hour and 20 minutes, maybe something like that. Maybe. Maybe. But I don't know shit about documentaries. You know, I know I could, I could do a pretty dope one. I have some ideas and I'm, I, I think I'm creative enough to be able to do it, but I don't know about releasing them or, uh, you know, <laughs> this, that, and the other. So there's a lot. Whoops, where are the screws to this squonk bottle? Hang on, hang on! Missing screws here. Missing screws here. 
That was a goofy impression. Oh, this one's missing screws too. Oh, damn and a half butts. All right, hang on. I know there's some screws right here, but this is a different Empire squonk bottle. Not to spill any beans or anything like that. But I would like to do a documentary. But you know a guy who makes documentaries. <laughs> you know, whatever. I could do it, and I want to do it, and it's a story that definitely needs to be told. But I'm more compelled to attempt to make change locally. Um, and that's something that I've been very, uh, I feel, ineffective at in California. And so, oh, come on, come on, little screws. I know you can go in there. And so what I think I'm going to do, you know, we have a flavor ban in California. We have a PMTA registry bill coming in California. No, we don't have a PMTA registry bill coming in California, but we do have a, uh, we do have a full flavor ban in California. And so what I want to do is create a uh, California Tobacco Harm Reduction Association um, and get involved in local politics and attempt to, you know, use the Swedish rat roadmap, um, try to appeal to some progressives in California or, you know, self-professed progressive, self-professed liberals in California using the Swedish roadmap as a model and attempt to overturn the flavor ban in California. That's what I really, really want to do. I want to attempt to overturn the flavor ban in California, and I know that there's an effective pathway to do that, but I know it involves a lot of work and a lot of, uh, you know, nonprofit work that I'm not super familiar with so I need people and I need help and it needs to be a, a, a large social media I think Turkish tobacco is going in here by the way I've, I've loved this so much in that dripper that Turk dripper um, but I don't like the uh, leaking that I get from the Turk dripper so I think the Turk dripper is going to get clean today and I think the Turkish tobacco is going to end up in here uh, and so, yeah, I think I'm going to, I think, I, I think that's what I'm going to do. Right. And here's, here's my logic. The great Seamus, you make a good point. You make a really good point. Much like the United States influences a lot of the rest of the world. So does California influence a lot of the rest of the United States, whether you want it to or not. And I hear people like groaning in their head about California. Yeah. You know. I don't disagree with you, but there's more effective things than just complaining about it. I could start a nonprofit that is a California smoke-free association that is the California Tobacco Harm Reduction Association and get actually political and use, like I said, use the smoke-free Sweden's roadmap. Uh, to appeal to all of the uh, progressives in the state. And I think it could be done. I, I think it's not unreasonable. And I'm going to try to overturn the California flavor ban. And I want that to be my goal. And I'm going to try to overturn the California flavor ban. And I think that's... Uh, a no I think that... Okay, okay. No cotton wastage. We're measuring. Ready? <laughs> How about this? I think that's something I really want to try to do. You know? Thrack! <laughs> to Tobacco Harm Reduction Association of California. Thrack. Thrack is pretty good. Holy cow, phrasing. That's actually really good. I was tossing around um, California Tobacco Harm Reduction Association, CATHRA, because that sounds very official. CATHRA. But Thrack is 
pretty memorable and would look sick on some t-shirts. Would look sick on some t-shirts. Thrak is a good idea. Um, the problem with Thrak is, I mean, it's my time, <laughs> you know? I don't, my plate is pretty full as it is between videos and live streams and, you know, <clears throat> everything included with being a person on the internet. My plate's pretty full and I don't have a lot of time. I'd like to do more live streams on Twitch and I don't have time. I'd like to do more hangs with my patrons and I don't have time. And it's because every inbox is exploding and, uh, you know, you're, I'm trying to create consistent, consistent videos and then you get dragged through the mud a few times and you're like, okay, well, you know. Oh, yeah, I might have... Uh, there might be more cotton wastage here. And I would need to dedicate time to it. And it would be like active boots on the ground, calling, writing, make getting meetings, you know, and I, and I'm, I don't know that I'm the best face for it, for these facing forward meetings, just because I'm well aware of my appearance. I know I have throat tattoos. In retrospect, if I knew I was going to be trying to talk to politicians about harm reduction, maybe I wouldn't have got throat tattoos, or maybe that will help me. I don't know yet. But I know something needs to be done, and if California overturns a flavor ban, and the overturning of that flavor ban is unsupported, you know, by big tobacco, that it's the will of the people, then I think that's a really big deal, and I think I'd really like to do that, and I, I just want to fucking do something. I hate feeling like I'm spinning my wheels, and I hate that, you know, we say nothing about us without us, but that's bullshit because that's all they do is stuff about us without us. And I'm sick of not being seen and I'm sick of not being heard and I'm sick of so much stuff. And my home state, I'd like to try to overturn the flavor ban. And I, don't, I, I feel like it's reality, you know? D. Snyder stood up to Tipper Gore and blue minds looking like crap. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, and there's a big part of me that feels the same way, that feels very similar, you know? I, I feel like because I have throat tattoos and because I'm heavily tattooed and because I look the way I do, that I get underestimated. And I know that's exactly what happened the one time I went on TV with when Evali was happening. And I knew that I was like, I was telling myself in the green room, which, is a dumb thing to say, but I was telling myself, I was like hyping myself up saying this, I was like, Grim Green, this is going to be the most articulate and well-spoken you have ever been in your fucking life. This is like a hundred vlogs all at once. This is, you have to be the most articulate, knowledgeable, well-spoken person ever in the history of vapors on TV. Ever, <laughs> ever in the history of vapors on TV because of what I look like. Straight up because of what I look like. <laughs> oh baby, you know what I love though? Look at this. This is something to be proud of. Uh, it's not tall enough. Nothing's tall enough. Couldn't possibly adjust the camera. How there it is. An ascot, a turtleneck. Flavor bands are honestly scary. The threat of them in the UK is daunting right now because 90% of, of the people neither know or care that it's happening. Yep, 100%. And it's worse in California when it's... It was worse in California because the California... The California flavor ban was a ballot initiative. So they have been trying to get a flavor ban in California since the beginning of vaping, since the beginning. Trying, trying, trying. Always failed, always failed, always failed. And the last time it failed, they 
there was enough signatures signed by those people who bother you at the entrance of supermarkets, enough people signed the signature to turn it into a ballot initiative to be voted on by the state of California. It was Prop 31 and it was presented as vote yes on Prop 31 to protect the kids. And that's why it failed because a no vote on Prop 31 would have been no, I don't want a flavored ban on the best, you know, quit smoking aid in the history of recorded time. And a yes was a yes vote for a flavor ban. And so California voted, but California was misinformed. And I think we could overturn the flavor ban. So that's, I think that's going to be like my 2024 thing while I was building some fiddling. Nope. Is that the airflow? Is that the airflow? Um, but again, my conundrum is time. My conundrum is time, energy, money. I think we could, with some boots on the ground people, getting some meetings in California and also having a really strong social media presence on, on a lot of social medias, I think it could be a, a pretty effective thing in changing the mind of Californians. Yep, that's, oh, they're lumping it, yep. Wait till, uh, I mean, phrasing, yeah. Phrasing says uh, in the UK, one of those sneaky ones where they're lumping it in with disposable ban, which has some support because of the whole environment and the teen vaping arguments. Yep, 100%. Ah, yep, that's a slippery slope, that's why. It's a slippery slope. That's why I say defend all the vapes because of shit like that that happens. That is kind of a very regular occurrence in the United States of America. We get omnibus bills here that aren't individual things. That is spectacular. Broken RDA, Turkish tobacco. It's a 0.23, 40 watts, boom roasted. Boom roasted. Vote Thrak. <laughs> Vote Thrak. Yeah, it would have to be T H R A C. Cathra is good, but Thrak has impact. Cathra. Cathra sounds more official. I do like Thrak though. I think Thrak is the. I think Thrak is high in the running right now. I mean, red light dripper, that's super true. It's super true. Uh, and that's one of the, you know, that's one of the talking points that there was, this was a big to do in California, big to do in California. There were ads all over the place, billboards all over the place, both pro and for, and you know, pro and for, that means the same thing, both for and against prop 31. It was a bit, it was a big deal here in California. But I think we have a stronger argument now than we did then because the people pushing the anti-Prop 31 propaganda was Big Tobacco. Because of course Big Tobacco doesn't want a flavor ban. This is one of those rare instances where interests line up. And so if I'm saying vote no on Prop 31 and Big Tobacco is also saying vote no on Prop 31, all anybody sees is Big Tobacco saying vote no on Prop 31, not just a consumer. So I think the idea of forming an actual tobacco harm reduction alliance of California and, and being very official about it and being a nonprofit and, you know, attempting to influence the so-called progressives and liberals of California using Sweden as a roadmap. I mean, they gave us a roadmap for a reason. I have a, I've been practicing my elevator pitches. I, I'm, I wanna like get printed pamphlets that I can hand to people with, you know, all the information. Anyway, that's where my brain's been. So I'm sorry that I put 22 gauge in the K fund, but that's where my brain has been recently. Broken RDA for the mother trucking win. In fact, this might go up to like 45 watts, 0.23, 45 watts. It's just good. This is gonna get teamed up with my other empire, which has the Zoo One in it. Get out of there, Turk. 
which has the Zoo 1 on it. In fact, I wonder if this needs a rewick. No, listen, this is Strawberry Swirl after literally two weeks. Longer than two weeks. When did we do this? This is since the fiddle. This is Strawberry Swirl since the fiddle. That is crazy. Cycle your cotton. Cycle that cotton, baby. And, I mean, I'm sh that speaks to Strawberry Swirl's cleanness. Yeah, see, this is at 55 watts and this is a 0.23. All right. Let's run them both at 55 watts. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I have seen that phrasing. Have you seen what Cthulhu are up to? Potential vertical coil RBA? Look, vertical coil RBAs have been tried before. If it can deliver me some uh, pod type flavor or some sub tank type flavor, like. Oh, it's in here now. This hasn't made it out of the desk yet, but the Crown X. The flavor on this is goofy, goofy flavor. I wish it had more airflow, but that's some goofy ass flavor. Zoo One, Just Josh, yes, yes. It's so good. Broken RDA, but they're pricey, Megs? Yeah, they are pricey. They're not exactly giving them away. It's just a damn hell ass good RDA. Oh yeah, 55 watts. There it is, Turkish tobacco. That is a good liquid. I just flooded the hell out of it and drank it. If I'm supposed to wick it like a coil head, we could have potential if it wicks right. Yeah, and co rebuildable, rebuildable coil heads type of things aren't new. Those have been tempted multiple times. I think Watofo did a really good one. I think Watofo did a really, really good one. All right, so in the interest of time, in the interest of time, we're gonna just put should, what, what, I don't know, what do we put? An alien in the k Light Plus? What do we put? You tell me. I don't know why I did that so low, but there we go. What do we put in the k Light Plus? An alien? Twisted Timmy alien? Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing, Slater. <laughs> Here's the thing. I never tried the rebuildable kit for the Grim Kit, the rebuildable RBA for the Grim Kit. I never tried it because they just fucking released it and didn't, didn't, you know. Micro aliens? There's some uh, mother truck and top flights right here. I hope there's some top flights in here. Yep, sounds like there's a top flight in here. That's not good for mouth to lung. The Vupu one, the Watofa one was honestly pretty good. Legos is voting for round wire. I might say round wire too. 30 gauge round wire? JQ, 30 gauge round wire. Should I test my cotton theory? Yeah, not a top flight. I was thinking the same thing. Uh, I had some, hang on. Let me check in a uh, alternate location. Because I had some, uh, I had some Timmy's coils. Yeah. 0.6 ohm single. 0.6 seems to be about the highest I can get. 0.6, sounds like we're going to Round Wire City. Round Wire City, Utah, here we go. Some more 26 gauge. Yeah, see, this will be easy. And see, that's too much wire already. <laughs> it's too much. 30 gauge, but torch it. Thir <laughs> 30 gauge, but torch it. You have to torch it. Nick, I'm gonna find a way to send you some mouth to lung Claptons. Uh, you know, I have mouth to lung Claptons. I know I do. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure Dutch S has also sent me some mouth to lung Claptons. And I know Twisted Timmy has in the past, but I maybe used them all. Yeah, oh no, that's a restricted direct lung alien. No, see, here's the thing. Next week, I'm just going to build my own mouth to lung Claptons. We're going to build my own mouth to lung Claptons to put in that other K fun. So then next week, we can have three K funds, but right now, I only get two K funds. And we're building the older of the K funds. Two and a half millimeter. I'm on board. Coils by Dennis? No, I don't have any Beecher MTLs. <gasps> Unless, hang on, let me look. I might have some Beecher MTLs. It's because I keep things in too many places, you know? So, <laughs> so, they might not be in here. It appears I do not. No, coils by Scott, that's a little too high. No, it appears I do not. I thought I did. It appears I do not. But I did receive some from Coil Turd recently, so that's what I find puzzling. Here's the thing. We're gonna do... We're gonna do a true, a true vape fiddle next week. And we're gonna go through this drawer. And we're gonna, and we're just gonna investigate. Because truly and honestly, some of the things in this drawer have not seen the light of day in a really long time. In a really long time. There are Canthal dual coil, Canthal Turks in here? KV Hexome aliens in here? This is where the drip theories are. 0.11 drip theories. There's an Artemis Creations, Artemis 2 bubble glass. It just in this drawer, just sitting, just chilling. That's fine. That's a thing. There's a there's a mess of stuff in here. Twenty six gauge. Let's go. Twenty six gauge. Let's go. And I guess we'll do, you know, six wraps, seven wraps. Six and a half, like like last time. Sick boy, it's fun K over here, like you can't imagine. What do you mean? So what's the deal with the new Empire bottle? I don't. I have no idea what you're talking about. You mean this this taller Empire bottle? That's taller than my other Empire bottles. It's taller, as if it was. Needed in a taller device. Hmm. Yep. Six and a half. Six and a half. Six and a half, mother trucker. Phrasing. Don't act like you don't know. Haven't I told you phrasing? You've been in the... You've been in the Yo-Yo Instagram streams. You've been in the Yo-Yo Instagram streams. Yep, plenty of room for round wire in here, let me tell ya. In fact, maybe too much room for round wire in here, let me tell ya. Let's see what I can do. As I always say, let's see what can be done. Just get that centered. No AeroCon airflow to adjust. Oh, phrasing. Oh, no, I didn't mean that as like a slam on you, buddy. 
I thought I feel I personally feel like I've been talking about it too much. I feel like I've been talking about it too much. Yeah, beautiful Clark. Holy cow butts. Look at that. That is smacks. It's really you're too tall now? What if I do this? And then this. And then make it not a Batman villain. And then this. Yeah! 26 gauge, 26 gauge. Will the new Empire have a spare fill screw? Your Empire didn't have a spare fill screw? I thought the bottle came with a spare... The bottle should come with a baggie with a spare fill screw in it. Yeah, see, I'm going to have to end up doing that, cutting these like that. I might have to dig in here. Hang on. I'm going to check these leads, you know. Clueless, man. That cuts deep still. That cuts deep. You can call me a lot of things. Just don't call me clueless. For some reason, that particularly, you know. Oh, okay, yeah, the, look, these leads are much easier to cut. They actually give you a little bit of space there. Uh, that's good enough. I didn't get it centered. Oh, I got it pretty centered. It's close enough for horseshoes and hand grenades. Let's see what we omed. 0.5? 0.5? That'll come up. 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 Here's the thing, Nick. I only use single battery squonkers. If you make a dual battery empire, I will obviously buy one, but nothing will replace my Grim Army Empire squonk as king in my rotation. Well, phrasing? Then maybe you are not my key demographic for this. Get out of here. 0 0.73. 0 0.73. 0 0.73. God, I love round wire. Why did we ever stop using round wire? What was that all about? Here, we got to put some wicks in here too. And I'll be aware of my cotton wastage, you know. Of course. Let's see. I could probably do something like that. Maybe I'll cut it like... Oh, that's too close for comfort. It's too close for comfort, phrasing. Only a spare plate. That, that's in... Really? Well, okay, you got gypped then. You got gypped and I'm sorry. It should have. I just opened a squonk bottle today that had the, the little baggie with... Uh, how far behind am I? 10 a.m.? I've only caught up to the 10 a.m. part. Ooh. Well, those are, they say you're not supposed to chug water. It goes through your system too quickly. You can't absorb all the nutrients, all the minerals you need from it. It's going to be too small with 18 650s now. Dual 26 650s? Yeah. That's what I would say too. You never had a dual battery squonk? Well, you know, the, 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 <laughs> the top side dual is considered, I think, the gold standard of, of dual battery squonkers, right? It's like if you wanted a dual battery squonker, you got the topside dual. I had whatever, my issues with it, and that's fine. I didn't find it super comfortable in the hand, but plenty of people did, so plenty of people bought it. Oh, yeah. This is the least cotton wastage I've ever had. Least. 
by a mile. Look at that. Look at that. That's it, phrasing. Earn. Is there any? Earn. <laughs> Megs. Anybody else? All right, let's try to, uh, let's actually, uh, let's try to thumb, actually. Maybe like that? All right. Let's try for some textbook thumbins. See if we can textbook thumb. The battery door. The battery door of the topside duel is a nightmare. Well, is it a is it a trap door on the bottom? Because that's the way that uh, the, the, the Empire duel is too. Yeah. No, that was a bad thumb. I'm gonna do that thumb over. Was not excited about that thumb. Get out of there. Okay. Yeah, that was a pretty okay thumb. I think these wicks. Cut them a little long. But I actually feel pretty good about that. Maybe I'll put some speed holes in this side. Maybe I'll thin it just a little bit on this side to appease the, the thin people, the thinners, the, the, the combers. Call them combers. <laughs> to appease the combers. What? I, do Empire Duel? I didn't see, who said anything about Empire Duel? That's crazy. I have no idea what you're talking about, eBird. No idea. All this talk of big squonk bottles and Empire Duels? That's crazy talk. Crazy. Crazy talk. I own nothing. I would vape over 60 watts. What? <laughs> Speed holes? Why do I always use the scissors? I need to use the flathead screwdriver for speed for, for the thumbings. Okay, oh, that got thumbed pretty okay. It's a little bit rough on this side, but we'll make do. I don't know that I need speed holes, but I used to poke speed holes, you know. Just poke some speed holes in there. I wish you guys could hear the rain coming down right now. Five minute hold screen for the vlog is definitely gonna be rain. Predictable. Predictable old grim green. Um, here's the problem. I am running very low on guava jelly already. I've already ripped through two bottles. Okay, listen, that K-Fun has much better flavor than 22 gauge. I'm fine admitting that. Maybe I'll put this stream on YouTube as an addendum to the K-Fun review. It's, it's objectively better flavor. And I just emptied the second bottle into that K-Fun. That only leaves me with three bottles. <laughs> Before I need to re-up, I go through uh, a lot of guava jelly. So much guava jelly. Tremendous amounts of guava jelly. You have no idea. Can you hear it? <laughs> V8. V8, you nerd, it is outside. You're in California. Do you want to help me run uh, Thrak? All right. Uh, now, the question is, since they're both compatible, I guess we'll go with the... Uh, 
I guess we'll go with the steam turners, steam tuners, top fill cap, right? That makes the most sense. How's that look, boss? It's a pretty okay looking tank, I think. It's a pretty okay looking tank. It's just high and tight right now. Here's the thing, sick boy. I'll take my hat off right now because I'm in the tiny camera. But it's uh, you know, I'm I'm thin and it's it's I'm I'm I've been balding my whole life and I'm real real thin. Um, but I'm injecting stem cells into my head to try to regrow my hair. For realsies, not injecting them. That makes it sound violent. I have to poke my head with a meat tenderizer and then spread goo on my head twice a week um, as a treatment for possible hair growth. And uh, the great thing is, I think I talked about, did I talk about this? 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 In the, book? the great thing is, it's a six to 12 week treatment and after six or 12 weeks, if it didn't work, then it's not gonna work. And if it did, you'll just grow hair again. And I, uh, I'm pretty down for that. My, uh, you know, barber, I don't know what to call him. My hair guy, who's been doing my hair for a while, he seems to think I'm a good candidate for this. So he uh, gave me some. Your pool's almost overflowing? Our pool always almost looks like it's overflowing, but it never does. It can't actually. And I keep trying to reassure my wife of that, but it can't actually overflow. Just trying to clean this up a little bit. <sighs> I know the longer I leave that off of there, it's just, you know, losing pressure. I just don't like grody top cap. I can feel the pressure now. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. But I don't know what to put this on. I didn't think that far ahead. Have not thought, thought this far ahead. Just throw it on a mech? Just throw it, yeah. Just throw it on a mech? Throw it on a Vindicator? Do I have anything cool? Do I have anything cool and regulated? I wish I had like a dope side-by-side. -side. Uh, all my regulated stuff is kind of lame. Um, how about... This. That's not lame. Hell yeah. Well, it doesn't have an exposed battery. But it's an old school Ultroner. I'm looking into getting this goo you speak of. Yeah, you should look into it, sewer rug. You should look into it. I feel like this could this could be our year, buddy. This could be our year. Except I need a single 18650. Oh, I guess it doesn't much matter if they're dirty or not. You won't see them. An old uh, Asmodus Ultroner single 18650, 70 watt little stab wood guy. Not even stab wood. I mean, I guess this is stab wood. It's just green wood. K fun on top. Yeah, oh, it's leaking like a sieve out the bottom, baby. Did you see that? Look at this drippings. Look at this. You want to see it? <laughs> it's because I left the top cap off for too long, and, and I know that. That's what happens. That's what happens. But no, but not to worry. That was a temporary setback. Temporary setback. Just some goo liquid everywhere. Where's that high end green mod? What high end? This one? The leaning tree? High end green mod. High end green mod. High-end green mod? I'm so confused. I know the gurgle will dissipate. I know we'll be fine. Uh, I might steal this drip tip for now. Nope, all right. <laughs> it's 
Let's go with something. Nope. Dumb. You, I have a shot. I don't. I have a shocking, shockingly small amount of green drip tips to match this. The Kumo. Put it on the clutch. You bought one overseas at that one vape meet. It was expensive. Did I buy a expensive green drip tip that could go in a K fund? For some reason, that doesn't sound like something I would do. Nope. I wish I had an original k on drip tip, but you guys, this drawer, you don't want to look in this drawer. Maybe someday we'll look in this drawer, but I don't know if I'm comfortable showing you what's inside this drawer. It is di straight up disgusting. Straight up, some of it is straight up disgusting. Yeah, like this. Too bad I can't use that drip tip because I just let it sit in here and fucking rot. Rot, I tell ya. Try to clean it up real quick. Try to clean it up real quick. Oh, the, uh, oh, that's in use right now. Yeah, you're talking about the, uh, Ben Vapes. The, the Karasu. The Karasu 11. You're talking about this, talking about this suck of fish. Yeah, put the uh, GT4S on there not too long ago. K Fun would be good on this, but it's got the GT4S right now, you know? Maybe. I don't know. I just don't want the GT4S to just fade away into obscurity again. I want to continue using it. Phrasing, look, I'm not going to say no. I'm never going to say no. Never going to say no to that. And, oh, it's a shit fit. That is a crap fit. I'm hoping this doesn't just continue to leak. That's my mission. Fits on there pretty okay. 0.73, that's way too high. Nope, oh, and I'm going the wrong way. That's how you know I'm a seasoned, experienced vapor. When I go like 20 watts in the wrong direction. That's how you can tell I got elite skills. 17, 16, uh, let's try 16 watts. Okay. That's a lot of slurp. I'm hoping I can just vape through that slurp, but there's a lot of slurp in there right now. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. The flavor is objectively better on the Boro. Can I say that right now? <laughs> Not objectively. I mean, as objectively as I possibly can be with being a 0.76 at 15 watts and a 0.73 at 16 watts. Let me have some more toots. Maybe I said that too prematurely. Maybe I need a shorter drip tip than an original K-Fun drip tip. Is that drip tip too long? That's probably killing the flavor, huh? It cleared up. It cleared up. That flavor is not nearly as good. Not nearly as good. I need a shorter drip tip. That's all there is to it. And I don't have a short 510 that will fit on here. Unless you will. But that looks so lame. Oh, oh, oh. Holy shit. This will work great. Mm. Too short. Too short. Too short. I would even settle for Ultim. I would settle for a short little Ultim mother trucker right now. That's a stay gold. That's a... What are you? You're nothing. There's just a spring sitting down there and some filth. That's fine. 
You? Oh God, you look beyond, you look dorky in a bad way. Look, that's that, okay, the flavor's getting better. Flavor's getting better. Flavor's getting bitter, bigger. Bigger, flavor's getting better. Let's compare it directly, one for one. Mm. Boro's better. Boro has tighter flavor, sweeter flavor. That that Boro has much better flavor than than the tank. I think that's the final. I think that's my final judgment. I think that's my. <laughs> I think that's my final word on the matter. But uh, look. I'm going to admit that this Kfun has exponentially better flavor than that review. Exponentially better flavor. Put it down, grab the Pure Max. Where did I even put the Pure Max? I like it so much, I just don't even know where I put it. To be fair, my desk is a little bit of a cluster right now. Hello, Pure Max. Hello, Pure Max. Well, here, I can compare it to a cross. It's closer than I thought, but it's still not that close. Yo, Vaping Luca. Oh, it's your birthday. What the hell, man? You got to tell me these things so I can prepare for the vlog. I'm going to mark it right now. The Vaping Luca. Ah, you're only a few hours late. What's a few hours between friends? Wow. I mean, listen, I'm kind of eating my words right now. This flavor is getting better as I vape it. Getting better as I vape it doesn't compare to a cross. Don't know where I put the Pure Max. Is it in my pocket? Nope. Well, the Pure Max. Oh, it's over here. It was literally just sitting there. What am I even? That flavor is just so rich, just so rich. No, you you can you can you can feel it. You can feel it the opposite way. You can feel it the opposite way. If I, I bet if I go to this tank now, it's going to feel even even less flavor. Yep, 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 yep. That's just how it works. Compare this to this, and it's like, okay, that's a big improvement. That's a big improvement, and it is much better than when I built it with that 22 gauge. That's a big improvement. And then you go to these, it's an even bigger improvement. And then if you go back down to this, You kind of, it's a little bit of like, oh, huh. It's not quite as flavorful as I remember. Then you go back down to this, game over. Game over, K-Fun. The flavor is still good. It's just not as good. This is a, it's not a hill I'm going to die on because I'd like, you know, this flavor is good. <laughs> this flavor is good. It's just not as good. And I think I've said that way too many times, way too many times. This is whispers of guava jelly. This is guava jelly. This is mother truck and guava jelly. That's the scale. Again, just flavor. Maintenance, obviously, much, you know, you can re-wick, you can rebuild. The, the cost is much lower. There is a lot more fiddling involved. I feel like I don't need to explain that whole can of worms again. And everything I else, everything else I said in that review, I stand by. But that flavor, much better, much better. Damn, I mean, surprisingly much better. Surprisingly much better. I don't appreciate being called clueless. 
but I will take the criticisms about that build. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Pods and pre-builds have the, 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 it's not even close to how much quicker they've got, they've gotten better too. I feel like we've seen some of the same things over and over again in the hobby world. And it's like, maybe the flavor gets a little bit better and a little bit better, but man, the, the, the innovation in pods is high. The innovation in pods is high right now. Damn, well, we look, we got some fun ass vapes out of this too. And I'm legitimately stoked about this k -fun. Let me do a little bit of good housekeeping so my desk isn't a complete mess. I'm legitimately stoked. I'm legitimately stoked for this. So that's where we're at. Ah, just some people, it's okay. I shouldn't, really, I shouldn't have said anything at all, but that's just how I was feeling, you know. A lot longer, dude. A lot longer. This is one of the this is one of the arguments I'm having with a vendor in China at the moment, where I get a really long time out of some coil heads. You know, I can get five thousand, seven thousand puffs out of a G3 coil head now. It's bananas. It's bananas. And some other coil heads are just falling behind and are just objectively not as good and not lasting as long. And so. I'm, you know, it sucks that they don't want to hear that, but that's just reality. Straight up. It's all I can do. It's all I can be, you know? Anyway, appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Appreciate you guys hanging out on a, on just a Tuesday, just the Tuesday fiddle. This is the Tuesday fiddle. Technically, technically in my mind, I've been clocked out of work this whole stream, this whole stream. I just want to build stuff and have fun and remember that this is a fun hobby and that I don't need to go on the internet and be called uh, clueless. So if you have any ideas about Thrak, uh, send them on over, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to put together some people and uh, a mission statement and uh, build a website and get some, uh, you know, some testimonials and have a strong social media presence and have a try to try to overturn the California flavor ban. You know, that's where I'm at. So K funds have good flavor. Sure. I'm going to try to overturn the California flavor ban. Yeah, that's the mission. And then after that, after we easily overturn the California flavor ban, that's when uh, the documentary happens. That's when, uh, it's just going to be called VAP, V-A-P, with a line over the A. Vape. Huh? Catchy? Catchy? No? Not catchy? I think it's catchy. Phrasing, yeah, phrasing will forever get credit for Thrak. Thrak. Thrak is, is high in the running. It depends on, on the, you know, on how, I, how we want to approach it. But I think Thrak is a, a little bit more getting a little bit more getting, a little bit more attention grabbing than, you know, whatever, whatever, what other thing did I have? Cathra, 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 a docu-series called Dry Hits. <laughs> yeah, dude, throw that Clapton in the, yeah, hell yeah. Clapton in the Blaze Bridge. I've been, I've been really loving the mob too in the Blaze Bridge. That three millimeter airflow really won me over. All right, fam. Well, I'm going to say goodbye, you guys. Uh, it's getting to be 1.30 now here. That's a good, that's a, that's a, that's getting to be lunchtime, you see. And I don't want to get hangry. Um, got some video to sh shoot and edit this afternoon. And uh, yeah, tomorrow's patron day. And Thursday's mother truck and vlog day. I'm not quite sure. You know, I don't have a good idea for the vlog at the moment. I'm not sure, quite sure how this is going to shake up just because there's a lot of news happening and I, you know, I got to be specific about what I talk about. So in closing, Hey, I love you. And I want to do more big stuff in 2024. And I know I hate those people that talk about it, but I'm just, the only reason I'm talking about it is because that's where my, my brain has been. My, I've been very sidetracked by Thrak and the potential of Thrak and the idea that I would like I would like nothing more than to see the headlines that Thrak has overturned a California flavor ban or that, that, that a consumer organization, you know, 
overturned a California flavor ban. I'd like to do something big. Mm, so that's what we're going to do. Vaping stories. Honestly, uh, you know, there's some people in the Patreon who haven't had some vaping stories that I'd like to get some vaping stories from. If I could. If I could. So anyway, that's where we're at, guys. Love you. Peace out. D dry hitting. Dry hitting maggots. Dry hitting maggots. Yeah, well... I have a lot of ideas for the vape documentary, and that was consuming a lot of my brain, but now Thrak is consuming a lot of my brain. So, that's what's consuming Grim Green's brain in 2024. That and a lot of other things. A lot of other things that I'm not ready to talk about on the internet yet. But we'll talk about that on a vlog. Hey, thanks for hanging out, you guys. I like the fiddle. I love the fiddle. I love playing at the fiddle. I love fiddling at the fiddle. And I like getting good flavor from a K-Fun finally. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye, you guys. Peace out. Uh, I don't really have an outro for this. So we're going to go to Old Reliable, Omboy OC. He's going to sing us off into the afternoon. He believes he can fly. Appreciate you guys. Asphalt Cowboy, Dane B, hell yeah. Sewer Rug, Phrasing, Haze, The Sick Boy, Steve, V8. Future uh, future Thrack board member, V8. <laughs> Just kidding. Lunchbox, appreciate you guys. Just Josh, hell yeah. Ronnie, peace out. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Have a great night. And uh, see you at Zelda. Hopefully see you at the patron stream. Don't forget we're doing boosh boxes tomorrow. On Wednesday. What's that, Dwayne? What? What? I believe I can fly. I believe I could touch the sky any time of year. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. I believe I can fly. <laughs> <laughs>